What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of A Ben's Fishing. Today, I'm out here with my man, Ryan is fishing. What's up, y'all? What's up? Hey, subscribe to A Ben. <laughs> we literally just spent, I don't know, two or three hours catching bait. It's been a grind, but we're trying to make it happen for you guys back home. We got some good thread fins, some good mohara, big and small, a croaker, a bunch of mullet. We got a lot of bait. We even bought some shrimp because we were catching some on a shrimp jig the other day. So we're gonna make it happen today. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to let you know that I'm gonna be doing a giveaway on this channel when we hit 5,000 subscribers. So subscribe. I'm not gonna announce it yet, but I promise it's gonna be a huge giveaway. Huge. And we're also gonna be doing a giveaway on my Instagram when we hit 50,000 followers and we are almost there. So when go and Aaron check it out. When 5,000, I'm gonna enter the giveaway and give away stuff too. There we go, guys, guys double giveaway. Double giveaway. Thank you so much. Let's get into the video and let's get a line in the water. Alright y'all, here we are today. I actually just got this new setup and it is a custom made rod. I'm going to talk about it in a second. Where you at? I'm right straight ahead. Right, I'm going to go to your right. So Aaron's throwing a little mojarra. Alright guys, so today's rod is a brand new rod I just got from a friend of mine, Steve at North Fork Bait and Tackle. So shout out to him, not sponsored, nothing, just a gift. And uh, this is a Gary Loomis blank. It's a North Fork composite blank. Gary Loomis is the founder of G Loomis. He sold G Loomis a while ago to Shimano. And this is his new company's blank. It's an eight foot blank, extra heavy, and it's rated 15 to 40 pound test. And uh, it has a lure rating of three fourths ounce to uh, three fourths ounce to six ounces. So it's a super versatile blank. Like you could throw poppers with it, swim baits. I mean, you name it, you can do it. So awesome rod, super excited about it. Typically, like when he asked me what kind of rod I wanted, it has titanium guides, it's carbon. I was thinking about a mullet run rod and uh, I'm gonna use this for swim baits, poppers, spooks, artificials, but I just wanna test out the flex. So I'm gonna live bait it today. All right, guys, we are at our next spot. Uh, unfortunately, some divers had to clean the boat at the last spot, and uh, yeah, that'll kill the bite pretty quick. So we got a mullet down low, and uh, I actually have a shrimp on a goofy jig. And uh, I'm gonna let it sit at the bottom and just slowly twitch it back. See if we can get some, either a snook, a sheep's head, jack, cuda, I mean, you name it, it'll eat this. Snapper. Straight up old school. Shrimp head. Going in, gonna get worked. Fudge, bro. <laughs> Wrecked. Give me another little piece of that. Oh, never mind. Like that. Dude, put just like a tiny piece, bro. Let's make these uh, shrimp last. There's a hundred percent keepers down there, bro. Ah, oh, you're a beast, bro. Why are you the best snapper fisherman? Whoa, whoa. Some tried to eat it? Yes. There's snook? Something big behind it. I don't know what it was. A snook, bro. Or it might have been another bigger snapper following it, dude. There's Kubera's here, bro. I'm telling you, dude. No one of these oh. has been a Kubera. again. This is almost a legal snapper. Mango snapper, aka gray snapper. This guy's absolutely delicious. And by the way, watch him. That's why they call him snapper. Watch. Pop. There he is. Oh. Okay. Look at this one. <laughs> Look at this little guy. Stop. 
an inch record mang no that's not even close to a record but you know what i mean boys and girls oh that was a good take might get a snuck bro all right i'm gonna invade your snapper hole that invade might be 10, it bro I, I would measure him i would measure him bro he's a keeper yeah he's, I'm, I'm down to keep yeah him. he's a keeper let's measure this one no. With a goofy jig, the head is the best part. I don't care what he says. We'll see who catches one quicker. Well, me, because I haven't made a perfect cast. It's tight. Uh oh. Better one. Much better one. What you got, son? Oh, yeah. No question. No, no measuring needed. That's like a 13. Catch and cook. No. No catch and cook. Just catch. Well guys, plans have changed. A little snapper action before the snook. Never hurt anybody. We're currently using little pieces of shrimp with a goofy jig to make it happen. And that right there, baby, is how you lose a snapper. And this. Oh, here we go, baby. Come on, give me a Kubera. Cord. small not 10 you get to live buddy all right here we go got a little spooky dookie on here that's a good fish bro oh 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 hold up what do you have bro oh, okay. uh, snook i thought it was too bad bro off oh. So, su such a little hook. I, I thought it was a big snapper, bro. That's what I thought. Oh, that's a good one. That was the smallest shrimp I've used. That's the best part. You tell me spook? No, you've never yeah. told me this story. I haven't? No, but a lot of people do that and it works, bro. It's actually better for hookup ratio. Yeah. Yeah, I had a snook on the spook. Not a big one, but. Dude, are you serious? You're just snappers right now. Guys, I am hammering these. I've been I've been filming. Ryan and I probably have eight snappers now. This one's probably ten too. Strong bro. Oh my god, this one's gonna get smoked. Oh, First snapper of the day to pull drag, dude. That felt real good, guys. <clears throat> like, real good. If you just drift an inch away from where they're all concentrated, I wonder if it'll hit just the goofy jig. We should try one day. Fish bites on the goofy jig. Oh. On the goofy jig only? Yeah. <coughs> oh my gosh. Bless you. Thank you, bro. We cut up a mullet and have endless bait for snapper. Let's use this one. There it is. On just the goofy jig. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's ten. We have like some little dead mohar. I'm gonna try that on the goofy jig. Oh my god. With a freaking mohara, I got a bigger one, bro. Look at this one. Yeah. Wow. Dead dead mohara.
throw them all up. Surprised we're not, they're just not on that seawall bite. They're in those groves, bro. This rock southward? Yeah. Oh my god. No, oh my god. No shut the troll off. Shut the troll off. Oh. Okay, get him out. It's huge, bro. Pull us back. Pull us back. Take the. Alright. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. No way, guys. Get the net. It's giant. Oh my god. Ready? Yeah. Wait, wait. Okay, you ready? Oh yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Oh. That's 40 plus. Well, 40 plus. <laughs> the line just broke. Oh my god, guys, I shut the camera off for a second, but there it is on the new rod. Are you kidding me, guys? Are you freaking wow. joking, dude? Wow. Where's that tape? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Hold up. The tape 39 and like hey, 39. You want to film for me? Yeah, hold up. <laughs> wow freaking toad so guys i was literally trolling away to try a different spot like ryan just explained in his video you guys will see it i'm sorry i shut my camera off this thing hit i didn't know if i was recording instinctively i hit record i was recording i shut it off but what a freaking beast what a fight on the new rod i mean this thing is a freaking giant dude hold what up what a giant you want to get a picture real quick yeah 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 i got you on a screenshot on the camera all right, guys, we're gonna put her back. Yeah. We're gonna what let her a go. beautiful fish, dude. What a way to end the night. She's so fired up. Guys, this is a very big fish. I thought it was gonna go 41, 42. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice, okay. dude. Wow. I've been waiting for that one for a while, guys. I've been getting dogged left and right. You earned it, bro. Persistence, baby. Nice fish, brother. Dude, thank you. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. And if you like the video, please don't forget to drop a comment, like, and subscribe. We will be doing that 5,000 subscriber giveaway hopefully soon because we are starting to grow more and more every single week and every single month. So don't forget when we hit that 5,000, we're going to be doing a big giveaway and I will talk about it as we get closer. And when we get to 50,000 followers on Instagram, we're going to be doing a very big giveaway there. So go ahead and check that out if you haven't already. That is at A Ben's Fishing. Don't forget to give my boy Ryan is a follow or a subscription on YouTube. He's been in the game for a long time. You guys probably already know him, but he's kind of changing the dynamic of his channel and he's going on a lot of different adventures. He just went to Mexico. He just went to the Amazon. Him and I are going to go to the Cape. I'm not sure if we already did when you see this video. A lot of cool stuff in the works for him. So I'm really excited for my good friend Ryan. So go and check that out. But if you guys like today's video, please drop a comment. If you want to see some more videos of us doing different types of fishing, like the goofy jigs for snapper, sheep's head, maybe trying to get some inshore cupera, catch and cooks, whatever it is, drop a comment, guys. I'm always looking. Thank you so much. You guys rock, and always remember to take one last cast. I will see you guys on the next video.